Dean Smith Center has seven national championship banners hanging. For the number one preseason ranking, this year's North Carolina team hopes to add an eight. Tonight they have their final tune-up before the regular season as they take on Johnson C. Smith. You hear that about a, a young guy who's willing to, to put that at the top of his priority list. Great ball movement here from the Tar Heels. Bounce pass to Nance for the easy bucket. That's the type of basketball North Carolina wants to play. There's a pressure. Love directing traffic, plays it off to Baycott. Here's Leaky Black near side. Black deciding to come back using that extra COVID year. Nice move from Baycott. Got the defender off the ground in an easy bucket. Now, to me, that is a very, very mature move. He definitely wants to continue to get better as an inside presence, but he knows, Coach Davis knows, and everybody on this team knows that he has visions to be playing at a higher level where that shot is going to be necessary. Love will draw the crowd and knock down the three after the hustle play. You know Coach Davis loves to see that in an exhibition nonetheless. Offensive glass for the Tar Heels. Cross-court pass from Nickel to Trimble. Freshman to freshman connection. Pounding defense here from the Bulls. Great backdoor cut though. And a big time finish from the smallest guy out there on the court. Absolutely. I mean this kid, look at this. Wow. 6-1, you said? 6-3, they six, got to miss it at, so probably 6-1. I don't know. I'd be thinking about thinking twice about jumping with him. Corner three for Nickel. Saw it in live action. If you caught that, the freshman can shoot the ball. They get some good ball clubs and, and have that experience for you to feel more comfortable when it's your time to come contribute in a, in a big-time game. Great read from Nance on the backdoor lob. Love runs the break perfectly. Two-handed slam for Baycott. It used to be just a select few programs would run it. You, you immediately think of Syracuse, Syracuse exactly. Jim Beheim. But Duke ran it a lot last year, and Carolina was able to handle it with both of those teams as Love decides to take it inside. Beautiful thing. And it, a lot of times it, it takes somebody who's been through this program to oh. understand it. But I tell you, I think Coach Davis loves those two back-to-back -back dunks just as much as he loves North Carolina. What a look from Love as Nance with the two-handed finish. Carolina out and running. 12-0 run for the Tar Heels over the last two minutes. A pretty one here from the junior to the newcomer. And it was the criticism, the negativity. This year it's the same, but it's don't allow all the praise and all of the hype to get in. You've got to go out there and do the work to get the result, just like last year as Trimble earns himself an end one. And down the three made by Floyd. Good touch from him. A lot of three-pointers in this game from the Bulls as Black picks up the block. Great defense by Leaky Black. Again, no surprise when we're talking. Lina Marcus with 53 points on 50% shooting in that first half. Caleb Love led all scorers with 16 points. Again, no surprise. You got a guy like Caleb Love that can attack the basket, dish it off to a guy like Armando Baycott who can finish strong inside. You see right here, this guy's trying to break the rim tonight. <laughs> a double-double in the first half for Baycott. Love knocked down four of his nine threes that he took after he got done dishing it off to Armando. But there was some play from the, the young guys as well. Exactly, you see Dunn sprinting the floor. Seth Trimble finishing through contact. It's going to be a great balance of young and old with this North Carolina basketball team. Nickel knocking down the corner three, and then this the highlight of the first half. Beautiful backdoor cut from the freshman. The little guy getting up. Oh, yeah, I really think Armando heard you when you said he's not going to bring that ball up in the first half. I know. There's Leakey. Great pass to Caleb Love. For Carolina's offense has looked stagnant which can happen against the zone. Baycott with a partial block, gets the rebound. In transition, Love into the plate through contact, gets the roll. And he just continues to show tonight the way that he can be dynamic both ends of the floor. You see him attacking here in the paint, through the contact, finishing with no problem. That's it. Rebound for Baycott. He's got 18 in the game. Done on the pull-up three. We're told about, we were told if this was a regular season game, he 100% would be dressed. But exhibition, they're giving him a break. Leaky with a couple of fakes and a finger roll. There's a play from Leaky. Knocked away. Todd Johnson can't finish. Trimble picks it up. 
And that's a great recovery by Styles there. Lost the basketball, didn't give up on the play. Got a big time bucket. 16 in the game for Nance to go along with six rebounds. Trying for 19. How he felt like in that national championship game. It was one or two or three throughout the year where he just thought they got tired. Didn't really have a lot of options in the front court behind. At the time, it was mentioned. Trimble, Shaver, Styles, and Nickel joining him. Kickback, Styles, three. Your Carolina team, in terms of the rotation, forced to play some depth. And Styles having to play those minutes, knocked down the three to open that overtime against Baylor, and really changed the momentum and swung the game in. November seventh, the first game of the year for the Tar Heels. As they'll take on you. One thing about Trimble that I want to say is you know, he's very, very poised as a freshman. You see right there on that pull-up. Kid that human as well. Wholesale subs for the Tar Heels as Lebo gets on the board. Let's get some run and in and out two or three times before Carolina got the rebound. Watkins knocks down the three. And again, it's great to see some of these. That's fair, it is Halloween. Take another look at the Watkins three. Shaver caught in the paint. Big time shot. Chance to send this in the triple digits here. Proud wants the hundred mark. Rebound by Shaver. Another whistle and another chance as they go back to the free throw line. If you're just tuning in, You'd think this is a regular season game, and it's a one or two point lead for Carolina right now. Well, I love it. That's one of the beautiful things about being in this Smith Center. The energy here, the, the fan base. There's always high energy situations in here. Rob Landry able to make the first one and give Carolina an even hundred. Nothing. That gives National championship banner begins November 7th against UNCW. Nine o'clock game right here in the Smith Center. For Marcus Ginyard, a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at home. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as we have. I'm Kyle Straub saying so long from Chapel Hill. The Tar Heels 101-40 winners over Johnson C. Smith.